Hi guys, it's me again, Mags here, and uh, the activity I'm going to do now is homemade Play-Doh with a bit of Easter inspired shapes. So what you need for this is very easy, you can get, probably have them in your cupboard at home. You just need flour, table salt, some vegetable oil, some warm water, um, food colouring and I'm using a vanilla scent as well just to make it smell nice. You need your mixing bowl and because it's Easter we're using this lovely Easter basket and a tablespoon. That's really all and then I have some uh, shapes here for when we finish and we've already I've made two play-doh already so maybe we'll just get stuck in and start. It's worth mentioning that it's just a really good sensory activity to do. Um, all ages and abilities, uh, you just have to kind of maybe help some of the children make it. And then it's nice when they can smell it and feel it in their hands. And it's just really nice sensory activity to do. And it's fun. Okay, here we go. We'll start with our flour. So we need eight tablespoons of flour. Now, you don't have to be perfect either because you can add more water if you need. So, let's get the flour out of the way. Then, you need your um, an extra little cup I have here. So, I'll put my eight ta tablespoons of water in here as well. So, you need eight tablespoons of lukewarm water. Yeah, you don't have to be perfect with that. Then we'll go to our, our vegetable oil. So you need two tablespoons of, oh no, sorry, one tablespoon of vegetable oil. So we'll put in one tablespoon as best you can. You definitely need adults to help you with the measurements. And then I'm going to add some red food coloring to this. So you add the red food coloring into your water and oil. And just go for it. Doesn't really matter how much of that you you put in. I just put a good bit in because I want a real nice rich colour. And then with this again, I'm going to put a bit of scent in. So you can use any scent. I'm using vanilla at the moment. Give it a nice smell. Just with a couple of drops of that. You can use any scent. Mint, lemon lime any scent you want okay and the other thing I forgot was the table salt so I need two tablespoons of table salt in with the flour so I'll put that in now well you don't have to be perfect okay so we'll get the flour and salt a little mix and then we'll just throw in our water mixture on top and then we'll just mix our flour in with the water as best you can. Now you will probably need more water, but we can see how we go. Need to mix quite well, yeah, and we definitely need more water in this one. So just pour a drop of water in and see how we go. Mix, mix until you can, till the flour kind of forms together. Tiny bit more water. I think I over, overdid it with the flour at the start. <laughs> okay, we'll see how this is. I'll take some of this out now in my hands onto the mat. And I think the more you knead it, the easier, the more it gets formed as well. So maybe just knead it a little bit together. A little bit more flour on your bench. This is a little messy, but it's okay. Now, let's see how we go. Now we're actually, we're getting there now. It's coming to 
together nicely. You might find lots of it falling off, that's okay. Now there's a lot of flare here so you can see the red colour come through. The more you knead it and the more you make shapes and knead it together, the better it is. So, I might try and roll this out now. We've got a rolling pin here. And I'll just roll this out. And we might make an Easter egg shape out of it. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. If you don't have shapes or cookie cutters, just you can make shapes using uh, lids and different things you have at home. So we have our egg shape. And we'll do one more little chick. Easter chick. Um, this um, play dough can be kept then, just wrap it up in cling film or put it into a lunch box and you can keep it then in the fridge and it'll last a good few days then. And that's it.